Hey guys, what's up? My name is Drake Seikiniko and welcome back to another video. As some of you probably already noticed, I got my hands on a guild at Midas the other day. Now why would I do that if there is far better and even cheaper options out there? The answer was money as the Guild of Midas comes with the Byron's Compassion ability that grants a rare chance of giving money to a nearby player. Since there was a ton of rumors and forum posts about seemingly endless amounts of money being able to be generated by the Guild of Midas, I wanted to put these rumors and posts up against the test and check how good the ability actually is. Before we get into the video though, feel free to subscribe as you're always able to unsubscribe later on as well, but other than that, feel free to leave a like as well to show me if you enjoy my content. Whenever I got my Midas, the first objective was to find out how the ability works. It was pretty simple, kill mobs and at some random point other players within a pretty big radius are randomly awarded with free money. So what was the next best thing that I was thinking of? Killing the most mobs possible and trying to stay away from as many people as possible for the best outcome. On top of that I coded a mod that would basically document everything in the best way possible for me to get some statistics on the actual output of this weapon. And after that I was done with the mod it was pretty simple to find the best spot. Ender pearl spamming as far out as possible. And as many of you might already know ender pearl spamming got disabled as your thrown ender pearls are now getting deleted on death. So now I'm here with a finished mod that will give you statistics in a pretty cool way but nothing to really grind whereas two people would be able to stand in a large radius and you can kill a ton of mobs. Or is there? Revenants. Revenants are found in a hub island and as there is the possibility to get something called a private hub, you're pretty much already set to grind slayers in a private hub with a friend that will accept the coins you throw at him. So since I've been talking too much anyways, here is me and my friend Aaron grinding revenants for an hour to see how much money we would be able to generate. And here is a quick note, since the money as well as the amount of killed mobs for a drop is random, this one hour is only the beginning of where you'd be able to get to. Twenty minutes later. Alrighty, so by now you can probably tell that this isn't really looking too good. And the last drop was even in 400 kills now. So then I started to wonder if there was actually any limit on how many money drops a single person can get from this ability. Turns out there isn't really a limit, in this case we were just super unlucky. But then I started to think of other questions and started asking myself things such as if the level of a mob has any impact on the drop rate. I didn't really answer that question yet, but I guess that's maybe a question for another video. So to not waste any more time now, let's skip towards the end. As you can see the results are rather sad and basically worthless. The money we made wouldn't even be able to pay for a single tier 4 slayer boss. And quite honestly the amount of money you need to get a drop of mostly under 1000 coins is not worth it. But like I already said there is people who got millions of coins and it is still money that is generated basically for free. This was only one hour and therefore there isn't too much to go after if we're talking about statistics. So obviously this test run wasn't really that successful and by the looks of it it would appear that the gilded ability is except for the tiny chance that probably is close to the chance of a phoenix pet drop of getting millions of coins is pretty much worthless. But it was pretty cool to work with a mod like that as well as the ability of getting a drop even if it's super tiny gives me the urge to grind more and get this legendary drop of a million or more coins. So if you would want to see another episode of this probably with even more time spent than just an hour then make sure to let me know down in the comments below. But for today that's it for this video. Thank you very much for checking by and staying all the way until the end. I hope I'll see you in the next one and with this said until tomorrow. <laughs>